Hi there, it's Marcus here from Forpaz. Um, I just want to show you how to set up your scale items for butcheries um, in Forpaz. Quite simple and easy to do. Um, so typically what will happen is that your barcode that your scale will print out and again it doesn't matter which scale you're using whether it's a Terioka, Berserba, uh, some other products, it uh, doesn't really matter. All of them will have this ability to print out barcodes or most of the models have barcode printing facilities and the barcode that it will print out for you will be something in the same format as what I've got on the screen there. So typically what you'll be looking at is a barcode that starts with a 20 and then there's typically four digits for the, uh, the item number or the barcode number and then a check digit Check it is just a calculation figure that it will calculate and to see whether you're scanning it correctly or you're typing it manually. And then four or five digits um, for the price and then the last check digit again. So this uh, product that we've got on the screen now basically relates to item number 1001 as you can see and with a price of 13 Rand 45. Okay. Um, and the system of Fopos uh, will then be able to scan this barcode automatically and translate that one long string of numbers into different things. So let's start up with how you set it up in Forpos. First of all, you'll into store setup and security. You'll go to maintain scale weights, and then under scale weights, you'll see there that we, uh, the prefix uh, two zero has already been set up, saying that there's four digits on the barcode, one check digits, five digits for the price, and two decimals. Okay. While we're on the screen, you'll also see that where it dumps the file or where it places the file when to update from four pars into the scale. Um, so here you can, by default, it's C, the C colon four pars server folder, and the file that is uh, creates is a file called forecastday.prn. You might decide, or your ca uh, case, sorry, your scale cast supplier. Uh, or your scale supplier might decide and ask you to whether you can change that for them. This is where you'll change it. You'll literally click on uh, locate and you'll go and specify your own folder. Let's say for instance we want a folder called scale. Uh, if you do not have one obviously you can go and create one. For now I can just select temp argument sake um, and that was where the file will be stored then. Now as soon as you exit out of this you can now go and create your product. I just want to go and see if I've got any items that is scale products. Um, no, I haven't created anything like that. So let me go and create a product quickly. And I'll go to new stock item. Product is not in the list. And I'll call it whatever it's called. Let's, let's say it's Chuck. Uh, all right. And again, you'll set up your departments accordingly. Uh, for now, let us just go and put it under burgers. Uh, okay, and here I've got sale items, so I'll just leave it under sale items. Uh, my cost per kilogram for check is argument sake 35 Rand, and I can go next. Now, with a barcode field here, the barcode would be then the item number that you would ring up on the scale. So in my case now, in this example, would be 1001. Let's assume for the moment that your item was item 1 on the scale. Then you don't need to go and put in triple zero 001. That is wrong. Okay? We will just put in the number 1. Okay? In my case now, 1001 is the right number that I want. And then you put in your selling price per kilogram in here. In other words, remember now that the scale is going to print a label for me based on the kilogram price. And I might, I'll be given sake, say that I'm selling this at 95 Rand, 95 cents. Okay, um, and that's the long and the short of it. Um, I can literally just go out of here now, go and do an update point of sale. Um, always required when you do price changes on, on the system. I'll then go back to my point of sale, and in my point of sale, let me just delete that sale. That was uh, part of another demo, and I'll be able to go and ring up 1001 as my item. And the system will say it's Chuck. Now that is just ringing it up as an item. Obviously if I scan that item in or the label that, that has come from my scale, it will now go and calculate it out. Um, and it will put in the quantity for me. And of course I've made a big boo-boo. 
not uh, on purpose by accident because I never told the system that it must allow fractions so let me go back there quickly I'm going to go back into my chuck item um, and very important here in terms of the parameters I must go and specify that this is a scale product and it must allow fractions now if it's items that like bread for instance that you also want to uh, scan the label that's coming from the scale you'd be able to specify this is a scale item non-weight in other words it mustn't uh, pick up the scale weight and try and calculate it, it must just ring it up as a single product this is typically used if you use a small um, I'm, I'm just mentioning a model here just for um, because this is something we work with on a weekly basis a Terioka DS780 scale is a small little scale that can connect to the side of your PC and you can weigh the items uh, directly from the scale into the system in other words the weights will come in from there um, not saying that's the only product you can use but it's something that uh, we use on a regular basis simple to use easy to use very cost effective works perfectly in a daily kind of environment as well okay and that is scale how to set up a scale item in four pass enjoy